Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh no no oh wait 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 There's hold on yeah There's a song. <laughs> oh another oh. gem but dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's the blog log how does it go you know what it's been so long that i can't even it's conjure been... it in my but it's... but we're bringing the blog log pod back right that's yes <laughs> we are now are we just going to call this the next number of the kive cast like i want to or are we going to number it on the blog log pod thing what are we going to do there archivist we're going we're going with the original numbering so this is blog log 19 i had to double check <laughs> it's not the way i want to do it steve it's okay all right but we're still we're still doing we're still doing one episode a month. Yeah, monthly cadence. That's yes. that's the same. Yeah. Um, the last month episode, Steve was out here and he we <laughs> recorded it. Um, the file I recorded it on, Steve, did not permit me to put it up on iTunes. So <laughs> okay. if, if you're on iTunes and you're like, where is it? You just yeah. have to go to have to go to YouTube. Now maybe okay. you're sitting there and you say, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to listen to YouTube like a <laughs> podcast. Unfortunately, you just got to get YouTube premium because then you can listen to YouTube without yeah. it being active on your screen okay I'm, I'm saying it's the best streaming service in the world like i if i had to choose between netflix or whatever i would go just because youtube without ads is just great so That's, that sounds quite nice yeah yes and, and then the creators also get a lot more money that way i mean we don't get money we we still haven't made a dollar on this <laughs> no, well, we made, no we made two dollars for the <laughs> for uh mortar heads 15 years ago yes but yeah uh, so so yeah. steve we're keeping just keeping things straight here and yep. we're eventually going to get to our like hullabaloo the the hobby is awesome it doesn't suck uh episode um but you know we're just basically our lives are gargan largan we're yes. going to try to stay on target with one episode a month in one yeah. form or another yeah. and so jonathan McElwain released this amazing well i haven't read it but released this absolutely amazing article i was going to read it and then i thought i'll do the whole i don't know anything shtick yeah i think and, i think it works it'll work yeah yeah i think it'll work <laughs> so we'll invite him in we'll get this uh we'll get this like um you made this awesome like little uh slideshow that's going to Wait a minute. Do I even have that slideshow, Steve? I know I downloaded it today. Oh, good. Yes, I have it. Okay. All right. So we're going to do that and then we'll, we'll go through. But let's invite Jonathan in. Say hey. And let's see if he'll be recorded here too. Not that. I see. All right. All right. Is it... We're getting there. He... There he is. <laughs> hey. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So we're we're very happy to have you here. Um, we're it's it's a busy sporting season, and so um, we're going to have our episodes produced by partly by Mark Cruciano, and he's a big Rangers fan, and they're playing against the Capitals, uh, which is which is Jonathan's thing. So right. maybe we're it's it's best that we keep them separated like that, Steve. I don't know. Just you, yeah. We don't want anyone getting in any fights or penalty boxes, none of that. Yeah. Let's let's save it, save the big production for for next time. <laughs> yes. But anyway, Jonathan, we're, we're really happy to have you on here. Our first blog log in Kivecast 2.0. How many times have you done this for us? Come on and talk about one of your awesome articles, Jonathan. I think twice. Um, wow. The Wonder Bread one and the Cakes yeah. and Fakes one. I think. Oh, yeah. Two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean, I, I tell you basically every time I see you, but that that Wonder Bread that <laughs> my dad loves that episode so much. Like, that's so awesome. The, 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 and then I bought him a set of the Wonder Bread uh, cards, and then like just they went skyrocketing in value. Of course, <laughs> during COVID, where yeah. are what's the value of those now, Jonathan? I think they've kind of plummeted back down to earth. Um, <laughs> you know, sensibly, I guess, because there's tons of them out there. So, right. <laughs> like anything, like uh, I just don't follow graded stuff in general. But you know, graded trading cards are crazy money. Like including yeah. those. So. Um, but yeah, so but yeah. I think a set is you know back down under a hundred bucks. Still seems like it should be twenty bucks or something, but um, I honestly don't check them very often. Okay, yeah. well, we're not here to talk about Wonder Bread cards. We're here to talk about something that I even though. So another thing to know, Jonathan, is you know this is the Mister Nice Guy uh, era. So I, I'm no longer going to be abrasive or <laughs> arrogant or any of those things. Um, cause that's all just an act. I'm actually just a, a nice guy. I'm a, I'm a lover, not a hater, 
But I did decide to not read your article first. So I think that's a really good trick because now Steve has sent all of the images. So I'm going to share the screen. And then essentially there is a wonderful article that is on the swca.com and that gets a lot of traffic. And then this web, you know, this YouTube channel and this podcast will also hopefully get a lot of traffic. And then hopefully enough people will see it for it to, to reach because it's just the most frustrating thing. All these amazing things that are, are made. And so we're going to learn all about, ooh, oh, what, Steve, what's this about again? <laughs> The Japanese Coca-Cola promotion of 1978, right? That's right. Okay. Wow. Now, Coca-Cola, do you talk about Coca-Cola's entry into Japan, Jonathan? I do a little bit, yeah. Okay. Because because that, that was what I looked up. I was like, well, I can do that. I can look up the history of it, how it made it in, and, and how it was reacted. So, okay, good. In that case, Steve, you don't, don't let me talk over. Should I go to the first slide that he can explain to us? <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I never... See? You see, this is Beautiful. the excitement. This is just amazing. <laughs> yeah. So this yeah, is, so, yeah. So what this is, is it, an Jonathan? ad. This is an ad from uh, Weekly Shonen Magazine, um, and I believe the first advertisement that you know most consumers would have seen for this. And it's basically saying, "Hey, you know, it's the summer of this Star Wars promotion." So, and, and so um, that was 1978. 1978, yeah. So obviously, Star Wars came out in the U.S. in May of 77, but it took over a year for it to premiere in Japan. So um, by then it was highly anticipated and sort of had gone around the world, but I think it was towards the latter end of places to get it, right? So, right. Wow. And, and it's, I mean, um, again, uh, Steve, so you've read the article, obviously. How much does he get into the whole like Japan, America, American colonialism, imperial stuff like that? Should, should I throw that in or, or am I going to be stepping on his toes? <laughs> you, you might like sprinkle that in from time okay. to time. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because, because that's the thing that like, like during World War II, yeah. uh, there was a lot of anti American propaganda in Japan and in Germany and all that. And a lot of it was actually aimed at Coca Cola where they would talk about as being poison. Uh, I believe in Japan, there was a rumor that it made women infertile. And it was like this whole idea that like, it was the devil. It was the American devil in a bottle. So then the second that the war ends and then things flip, it becomes the American dream in a bottle. And and this one image, which if you're, if you're not able to look at it because you're driving, it's just a Coca-Cola bottle against a blue star field and it says drink coca-cola star wars and it's yeah. just the, the the most beautiful simple thing of like these are the this is what we can provide you world we might have <laughs> dropped a couple nuclear bombs on you you know did some terrible stuff you know some good stuff all that but we got coca-cola and star wars and it's just i mean wh where else is coca-cola and star wars this equated yeah it's that's a good question right i mean i i feel like there's other promotions but this this is all out like as we as we'll see um as we kind of get yeah i mean it was a, like a huge campaign so yeah i don't i don't i can't think of another one that really rivals this um you know outside the u.s so this was but, in a but even even the even in the u.s the coca-cola was tied in with restaurants and that sort of thing whereas this is right. sort of a more pure if you will kind of coca-cola promotion yeah yeah so so this is like so Shonen magazines, those are the manga magazines that are black yeah. and white that come out. Okay, so I, I learned about this recently. Okay, so he's, ho he's oh, holding one up. So it's this thing. So it's this giant, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's lots of stuff. So that's the way comic book works work in Japan, is they have these compendiums of comic books, of stories, and they're just jam-packed, and they sell them at, like, the, the corner stores, and they sell them at – and then – eventually they will break out and be in little tiny like the individual stories will be compiled and that will be a manga so it's like the first stage of a manga do you guys all know this i did i just learned this i found this thought it pretty fascinating Not i don't follow extent, it but no. no um but yeah you get that and those things that thing is like almost an inch thick and it's or three quarters anyways and it's like that's the weekly you know that came yeah. out every week <laughs> with these ser ser serialized <laughs> bits of these stories so it's pretty cool yeah. yeah. And so this was an ad 
from like the back cover of that or where was that in it's actually in... to it's actually towards the front so the front of that issue opened with sort of these scenes from star wars mm. uh, the, the movie um and then you kind of flip to this page where you have this before you get in it, into any of the manga stuff okay. wow so, well, and do you That's have awesome. this do you have this framed on its own is it just a, from no, a, I a scan from I just, magazine I just... I just have it in the magazine. So the one I held up is the issue that it, that it came from. So. Okay. Oh, really? Can you show that again on the camera yeah, just sure. so we can see? Yeah. I mean, this, I would love this in like a 27 by 40 inch, like movie poster wow. size. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. I mean, that, yeah. just, the, the colors are just so vibrant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, wow. That's, that's great. Look at that. Okay, cool. I, I'm I I don't know if you're watching this at home. I'm like moving us around on my screen. But I don't know what what how it actually records, how Zoom records. So we'll have to see. Yeah, but we'll be we, all right. We, yeah, we could, at, at this point, Jonathan is uh is Alice in the Brady Bunch. So <laughs> he's okay. All right. Wow. So this is the first ever item. Uh, should we move on to the next one, Steve? Yeah. Sure. Wait. What does BLP nineteen mean? Oh, blog blog pod nineteen. <laughs> oh wow, beautiful! No, I think I think I've seen this before. Is this yeah. this is at your house, right, Jonathan? I don't know that it was at my house when you were here. So this is like a trifold um, advertisement for one of the bottlers called Kinky uh, from the Kinky or Kansai region. So when you opened the thing inside, you saw this, and these are all fifty images um, that you can collect so okay um, so 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 scaling back yeah so the the coca-cola was the main thing they did was they had bottle caps and those bottle caps had images and there were 50 different images that's right and so so this is a, a like a pamphlet for that bottling company yeah so so other i I kind of chopped this thing up. So it shows up in other images that Steve's prepared here, but this is kind of like the centerfold, if you will, of it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. It's only three pages, but yeah, this is the inside going, wow, you can collect these 50 things. Um, yeah. And I think that's what it says at the bottom. Basically, you, if you look, you can see 50 in there. So, yeah. yeah. And, and this I is where I'm right. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Say, I love that. Like it's in terms of the images used, it's a mix of some really, really familiar like publicity type stills, like some of the stuff is also just straight like screen captures, like from the trailer. I, I can I recognize some of these shots from the trailer. Right. Um, I just love the mix of and then there's I mean, look at this Jawa image that Scott's so, zooming in on. Yeah, I didn't know I could zoom up. Like, <laughs> this is great. We're learning on the fly here. Yeah, yeah. So like <laughs> you you know, on behind the scenes footage of films, you'll often have like uh like like uh, there's one a great one of uh, Boris Karloff like having a cigarette like yes you know, yeah, yeah. as as frankenstein i right. get the sense that this jawa was smoking like he's just kind of <laughs> sitting there and they might have airbrushed out the cigarette and he's right. just like sitting there and then it's 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 oh, obi-wan yeah. kenobi but this unfinished the, unfinished shot with him with just the rod like i think yeah, that just was with the rod yeah, from yeah, the trailer yeah. yeah and then my my favorite of the the corridor image with the stormtrooper yeah. the focus yeah. that i've never started um <laughs> Very typical Chewbacca. That's a little bit yeah. disappointing. <laughs> I, I do like this this uh, this uh, Princess Leia and three PO. Yeah. I don't think I've, I've ever seen that focus. You know, kind of I, the the deep focus. Yeah, and I think if I remember right, that is on a lobby card for for the original movie, and they just really zoomed in tight on that on that two shot of them. That's really cool. That's the most surprised C three PO has ever looked. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look more surprised there than normal? <laughs> And then a bunch of sort of boring ones of the Falcon. Um, Those are all like from the trailer. I'm pretty sure. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 More standard. I mean, the great, the great escape pod. That's yeah. a great picture. Great one. Yeah. The Japanese have a lot of great do back. Like that they, image is in a couple of Japanese things because my son it, collects do back. And yeah. It seems like they really like that. Now, yeah. now. Are we going to be talking, Steve? Because I don't know where we're going. Are we going to be talking about all the different kinds of bottle caps? Because we have talked about these before, but are we going to be talking about that as well, Steve? I, I would say you could you could define this conversation that way. Uh, I think, Jonathan, uh, once you get into the article and kind of the, the nitty gritty of it, or I think you could describe it as off the deep end. <laughs> okay, because that's where we want to go. We want to go as far as we can yeah. into the deep end. Okay, yeah. so then, so this is the mechanics of how it actually looked. 
Yeah, this is this an is great. unpopped. Is that is that your fingernail, Jonathan? That's my fingernail. Oh so my God. <laughs> yeah, so oh, beautiful so, cuticles, dude. Do you like oh, buff yeah. your nails? No, no, just, I chew them actually. <laughs> <Okay>. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah. So the image at the top is like um, I forget if it's off the poster or it may be off that same kinky uh, brochure. Um, but yeah, the sort of a Japanese attention to detail. Like I remember getting these kinds of liners, you know, for promotions here in the U S but you had to kind of stick a knife in there and kind mm -hmm. of fry it out or like grab it with the fingernails that you had. Um, but these have this little, you know, nub and, it, and it's sort of perforated. So it would tear out. And so, yeah, I'm kind of simulating what, what that thing looked like. Um, so, but so the liners were a part of the sealing process um, but it's actually pretty uncommon to find them. I, I wouldn't call them rare or anything, but in my buying, you know, you don't see that many of them. And that's kind of for two reasons. One, they're garbage, let's face it. But two, um, you use them to send in for some of the promotions that we we'll talk about later. So um, okay. they're, they're, you know, so uh, they were consumed by that, you know. So for the same reason, some wrappers of some food promotions don't show up because that was what you sent in to get the whatever it was you were trying to get. So yeah, so so this is actually like you are taking it off for the first time in this picture. No, I just I just kind of had one. I have you know some, and so no, I kind of put it back in there and just sort of simulating what it what it would look like. I have some that are sealed, but uh, no, I didn't. Nothing was no vintage was destroyed for this uh, blog post. Okay. <laughs> Well, because I'm curious what it feels like to actually peel one, because I mean, like, like you, you were talking down on the, on the other versions of it, but I have very fond memories of digging under that weird plastic yeah, thing yeah. and like kind of scraping your thing, like that, like the satisfying feel, like, I wonder how satisfying of, of like a sort of hand feel it is to take these things, yeah. uh, take these things off. Wow. So is there a name for this little metal doohickey? uh well it's plastic i just call it a oh, liner so plastic um, okay steve I, I think i know what we should call it we should call it a McElwain. so <laughs> so so it'll be like oh does it come with a McElwain? and then people yeah, say what oh, is that oh that's the little plastic yeah. thing that that comes like on that. there that's All great right. if you Good. use it six times the ai will be trained to know it <laughs> yeah <laughs> there you go something like that yeah, yeah. So, so how many McElwain's do you have in, in, in your collection? Like, do you get them with the caps or? Um, I've only got a couple that are still like on the cap. Um, and then I've, you know, I bought a lot that might've had 50 in them. So, but mm -hmm. of course, you know, I take everything too far. So they have little numbers on them. So uh, Steve, I don't know if you concluded that image or not, but like, there's like 24 of them. So oh, like yeah. 24 numbers. So I've got most of that set. And then there's some that look different than others. Yeah. You can kind of see the 12. Right. Oh, yeah. There you go. So, <laughs> ah, that's awesome. But you can look at the blog post and, and sort of see yes. that level of insanity. Okay. Now we, we have an image of, of four. Yeah, I guess, Steve, I should probably still be describing them. because I mean, the podcasts are video podcasts now, right? Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. And then it's a video YouTube. So should we just give up on explaining things to people who are mowing their lawn? Or should we... Lightly, maybe just light, lightly. light explanation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, well, that's what I used to do. So we're looking at four <laughs> bottle caps, two different Star Wars bottle caps, two different Luke in the Land Speeder bottle caps. There appear to be some slight differences, and I'm sure there's nothing interesting about the differences. So I'll keep moving on. No, okay. <laughs> What's interesting about the differences, Jonathan? So for the Star Wars logo cap, that one has no text surrounding the image. So what you'll see in these images is, if you think back to the promotional pamphlet we looked at, the images were large, right? They were filling the entirety of the bottle cap, yeah. and uh, and all the bottle caps were depicted as gold um, in that image. So on the actual production uh, caps, what you see is the images shrunk down, and so there's a there's a ring surrounding the image. So for the Star Wars caps, there's no text surrounding it, um, mm -hmm. but on the the regular caps, and the example here is Luke and Landspeeder. Um, it says Star Wars bordered with stars on on the left and right side, and underneath I forget exactly what it says, but it it, it may just say Luke Skywalker or Luke and Landspeeder. Um, I don't remember what the translation is, but um, so that's common. So the Star Wars logo one is the only one that doesn't have any text with it, mm -hmm. um, and then all the other ones say Star Wars above and have. Some 
some descriptive texts below. Um, and then you can find them more commonly in the gold tone um, and then less oh, that's commonly. The, that's the difference. We have a gold the, tone and a silver, silver tone. tone. Yeah. Okay. So, and okay. is that and like... the image actually looks, I, I don't know, I, could, I kind of favor the ones that are silver. The image just looks a little, oh, mm -hmm. little clearer. Yeah. Clearer. Yeah. So, so is was this down to like which bottling company? Because that's the thing about about the reason that Coca Cola was able to spread so far was after World War II, essentially along with all of the the GIs that we would bring in to help pacify or reconstruct a country, we would like bring in bottling plants. But also in Japan, they used pre existing bottling plants like Kikoman, like the the soy sauce. Like they would use Kikoman to also do. Which makes that hilarious prank, which I used to play on my friends in high school, where you pour soy sauce in their Coke. Like, it actually kind of makes it... Okay, it wasn't that. Hey, I'm Mr. Nice Guy now. I wouldn't do that now, but I did do that in high school. Uh, so was it just like a question of where they bottled it, or do we not know why silver versus gold? Yeah, I haven't really gotten down to that but yes it's certainly some bottlers like all of their seem to be gold there's other bottlers where you seem to be able to find both types but yeah it's the individual bottlers you know had some latitude i don't know if this was an intentional choice or just but they do exist this way but yes it, it it's related to the bottlers but not uh, it's not from what i can tell it's not that like certain ones were definitely all there's certainly ones that only seem to come in gold and then other ones seem to be uh, both. So And and can you determine where it's bottled from the cap? You can from the other side of the cap. So okay. we get to that a little bit, yeah. Wow. So then if, you, if you're trying to be a completionist, uh, you're just going to drive yourself crazy. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, yeah, there's some crazy uh, stats and math that we could bring up with that later. Yeah. Too. <laughs> okay, so that'll, that'll be later. We'll talk about how many different how many different possible <laughs> variations there are. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, good. <laughs> so, so if you were even luckier than the people who found a cool Star Wars image, um, you got one of these winner caps. All right, so, um, uh, so there were yen cash winners, mm -hmm. um, and as far as I know, there was ten, twenty, fifty, one hundred, and five hundred. It's not too terribly difficult to find the tens, but you know, as you go up from there. You know, it's very difficult. That's a lot of money. You know, and then on the bottom of the image here, several of the bottlers, and it doesn't seem to be widespread. Um, the one on the bottom left, you want a free bottle. Uh, you got your choice of a Coca-Cola, Fanta, or a Sprite. Um, and then the one lower right, um, you want a, that red uh, T-shirt with the star on it. Wow. Yeah. And, and and the the outline of the Coke bottle is very off brand. It's not <laughs> like that is like, you know, that's one of their, their most crucial trademarks is the yeah. silhouette of their bottle. Yeah. And it's they're like, we, yeah, no, it's good enough. It's kind yeah, of crooked, it's, right? Yeah, no, it's good. Enough. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's like pinched in there. I don't know. It's a little weird. Yeah. Funny. Wow. And so then, Steve, this is great because it's like it's a. Uh, it's suspense. Are we going to see the T-shirt later in this in this presentation? We, we might. Yeah, I, I was just okay. thinking about this with the way this is going, Scott. That you're basically getting a a free collecting track presentation, a personal yeah. one right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, no. The, the shirt is awesome, and you will see it. Don't worry. <laughs> and, and that's the yen. I thought the yen symbol was like a Y with two marks on it. The 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 yen symbol yeah, the here. That is too, but this is, um, and I don't, I don't know enough about uh, the Japanese language. But yes, this is a symbol. But I know the one you're talking about that looks like a Y with two slashes through. Right. Yeah. Wow. So, so you have? Has anyone ever seen a 500 or 100 yen cap? I, I don't know. I I would guess so, but I don't. Um, I don't know anybody i haven't seen one for myself i'm sure they exist but um again mm -hmm. that 500 yen is like roughly five dollars you know yeah. at that time so it would have been a, a solid prize mm -hmm. and and so there was a ex expiration date because i see underneath there's some numbers here 53 930 that's hard to yes. figure out 
so you know so that's 30 september and 53 uh would have been that's 1978 so in the showa era i guess you know they oh numbered my God. they numbered that's right that's they numbered right. their dates you know by the emperor or whatever so that was the 53rd year of of that that's era. right yeah so, that's wow. wild that's really cool and, and there are some that most of them have this 30 september date um but some of them went one month later to the end of october of that year yeah. but that's that's those are the dates i've found mm -hmm. hey steve let's get gargan largan did you know <laughs> i went to high school the same high school where the empress of japan went to high school she wow. was like very famous she was like the megan markle of japan she was like okay. this yeah. japanese american i think they ended up getting divorced but anyways it was a very big deal like when i when i would tell japanese people that i went to Beaumont high school they'd be like oh, deska right so yeah that's there you go that's how yeah. you uh, ask a question in japanese you say something and you say deska at the end I, okay. I wasn't i wasn't being racist i was being culturally significant okay wow all right so just kind of going backwards here i'm looking at the McElwain's. I realize I didn't describe the McElwains. It's a very hard thing to describe. It's a it little is. tiny nubble. It's, yeah. Uh, it, circular doohickey. It's almost like like a reverse like opening of a can, like, you know, like a if like a can of tuna or something. Right. With a little pull tab. Um, yes. but it's on the underside of the cap rather than the, the top. And and you say uh, that the McElwains are plastic. Rubbery plastic, yes. Rubbery plastic, okay. okay. Yeah, it's, it's plastic. but Good. You know, it's, it's now into the AI, Jonathan. I did it. On, on that one, <laughs> we had to space it out a couple of minutes. Sweet. <laughs> oh, my God. Look now, this is, this is this is the, the slide. I couldn't, uh, obviously, I didn't want to put the whole post in the slide yeah, deck. So I took no, three no. that just kind of <laughs> laid out just how complex and deep the research you've done on this wait, is. Wait you, wait, you made all this, Jonathan? Uh, I didn't make all of it. I adapted some. So the map is, so I was, I found um, a booklet for, uh, it was a promotional booklet from 1978, just after this promotion had ended of all things. So it's like the Holy Grail for me, you know, yeah. of finding things. Re so, reference, yeah. Yeah. So within it, it had this map of Japan um, and in co nice color coding, uh, showed you all of the bottlers. So what I did was to translate the the Japanese text um, so that I could list them, you know, in English language, the the, the seventeen bottlers in Japan at that time. Wow. So and and I imagine that some of them are just way more plentiful. Like that the what the Hokkaido. There's probably less of them because there's less population up there, and there's just probably a ton from tokyo is there, is there as you can tell is there some kind of is it sort of like you know canadian collectibles are made at one tenth or whatever something like that or yeah well there's definitely some that turn up with a lot less frequency so you know after the amount of time that i've collected these you know i guess i feel fairly confident that they're they there truly are less of them like of all things okinawa mm -hmm. i have one cap that's it. Just one single cap for, you know, for the longest time, you know, one of my goals was collecting, you know, at least one cap from every bottler. And it was like for the longest time for years, you know, oh, like, yeah. I didn't, it's I didn't all the way down there, one. huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, there you go. Um, so, yeah, but like, again, going back to, you'll hear me say kinky a lot, but um, that bottler was like all in on this promotion. They had the t-shirt, they had the, you know, some of the other things we'll talk about, but I would say um, their caps actually seem to be the, the ones that uh, show up more than any other ones that, that I've seen. So, um, but wow. the image oh, on the yeah. right then, like yes. th that, this, <laughs> ironically, the, the, um, this sheet was like loose in this in this booklet I got. And so it seems to be a sheet where they would have had this book and like all of the bottlers could have provided this book to their customers. But on, in the inside, there was this um, sheet and it it's for the Okinawa bottler. Um, and it, so it's listing all of the products that Coca-Cola made at that time. And the ones with the red star are the products that were offered by that particular bottler. Oh. Okay. So, so yeah wow okay and so do what does this have to do with star wars how do how many of these products so if if you're okay so if you're just following along we were looking at a map of japan with all yep. the different 
bottlers. Now we have an image of every single Coca-Cola product like in its can form and in mm -hmm. its uh, bottle form. So of all of these, right, in total, how many of them came with, with Star Wars caps? Uh, there were like, seven flavors um, and like two variations of the grape flavor, which I think we'll get into a little bit later. Two, two, two versions of kind of what it looked like, uh, but not two versions of the, the, the product. Yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so I can so, rattle I can rattle down through them quickly. So you had oh, Coca Cola, yeah. one. Coca Cola, uh, and then Two. you had Fanta Orange. Mm -hmm. okay. You had Three. Fanta Grape. Four. You had Fanta Golden Grape. Five. <laughs> Fanta Club Soda. Six. Uh, Fanta Apple and Seven. Sprite. That's it. Did I get them all? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no seven left. with the seven with the two. Yeah. So as far as I know, again, I don't know. You know, I guess it's possible that lift, but I've not ever seen it, right? Yeah. And so there's no red star. So this particular bottler did not produce that product, but some of the other bottlers would have. So okay. Um, but yeah, I haven't it's, seen any yeah. advertising material that that shows lift as a as a available product with this. Okay, new, new priority in my life. I need to taste <laughs> what golden grape tastes like. Yeah. That's yeah. that's super very very <laughs> exciting. Well, this this image just makes me very thirsty for for soda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's great because there's no zero, there's no diet, there's yeah, no light. It's there's just no pure it's just... sugar. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah. And it probably was sugar too, right? Not not, uh, <laughs> right. not yeah. corn syrup. And then right. and then not to get on too too big of a ja jag, but I mean, you guys probably know the history of Fanta soda, but maybe all of our our viewers don't know the history of Fanta soda. So the history of Fanta soda is actually tied into World War II as well, because Coca Cola was they stopped providing their syrup to the Germans at a certain point because it was you know going against an embargo against the Nazis. So it was actually German. <laughs> Nazi innovation to find local herbs to make a soda that would still be sweet and that they could sell. And so they took a word that sounded like fantastique. They took Fanta and they made it. And then Coca-Cola saw it was great and it was made in their factories. And so then they made it. So there's this weird thing where Fanta is like straight up, you know, just like Volkswagen, it's a, it's a Nazi thing. Um, and here it is being sold in Japan with a Star Wars cap which is, you know, the great commentary on uh, on world history and politics. So there isn't too much to say there that's interesting, but that's it's kind of interesting. And yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you can really blow you can really uh, blow your uh, blow your friends' minds in in high school when you tell them that. Whoa, <laughs> shut up, Sky. All right, and then on the <laughs> final, we have a prize caps matrix. <laughs> well, now, yeah. Did, did you make this, Jonathan? Jonathan's uh, amazing I... matrices. <laughs> I did. So, so there's two matrices in this thing. So this one is. This is the. I, just, know, can I say that I love you, Jonathan? Can I just say that? That's not Mr. <laughs> nice Guy. That's all Sky is saying. This is absolutely awesome. Yeah. I didn't know how much fun this was going to be. This is great. <laughs> this is oh, like the best kind of. This is like, you know, pure collector track, no tots. I'm not here for the tots. I'm here to learn <laughs> about whatever this insanity is. <laughs> So the matrix is showing the prize caps, which we saw on one of the previous slides, right? So I've just listed the different ones. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, you know, going down the list, it's each bottler, all 17 bottlers using the same. I just used, I used the color matching thing to match the colors in the map um, yeah. for sort of anal, you know, whatever. So um, there you go. So, and this is, this is really a work in process, progress, right? It's um, the caps are not that common. So it just, it represents um, either what I have or what I know from advertising material exists. So, so if you look at Sanyo, that's towards the top of the screen right now, you know, I've listed the hundred and 500 because those are not because I have them, but because they, they, uh, they exist, um, you know, on, in the advertising material. And from what I can tell, you know, that's pretty accurate uh, as far as, you know, I haven't found anything that's really off. So, well, and then you have this yeah. legend down here, denomination, flavors. Yeah. So, so, so where I found them, I've just sort of listed. Yeah. I found that this is Coke and the Fanta grape and the, the black version of that and blah, blah, blah. So, and, and what the dates of expiration were. 
Yeah. It, so, it's and there are amazing. some that you don't expect to exist. Yeah. So like Tokyo there, for example, when you look at the poster and um, some of the other advertising material for Tokyo, they show three winter caps and they're all yen winners, 10, 50 and 500. They don't show a 20. They don't show a hundred and they don't show a t-shirt or a, uh, uh, a free bottle. And they had a different way that they did the free bottle. So it's possible. Um, but, you know, again, the, you know, I, I'm going off of, you know, the, the data that I have, I, I don't think the other ones would exist, but yeah. No, this is just, um, yeah, this, may, this just makes me happy to collect Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it's got a the, the spirit of like the old kellerman matrix but with with yeah. soda and it's just like yeah. again just makes me want to drink soda right now i like i really well, really and, need one <laughs> and also it's just you know how you know how many of these bottle caps do i have in my collection yeah probably like four or five and now i just cannot wait to like look and see because because now <laughs> i mean it's not going to happen but if we lived in a better world this article and this at this episode would take off and all of the IC investment prime and all that, we would just have bottle cap fever. And the new <laughs> thing would be who can put together a full set of 50, like, yeah. 50 uh, uh, Okinawa, right? So like, yeah. that would be the thing. The like, run, would, that's would, the run, right? Put aside, yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh, I just, I just don't have the, the Obi-Wan Okinawa, but I have the rest, right? Like, <laughs> that would just be so awesome, sort of. But anyways, yeah. we're, we're not going to do that, so. You don't you have to worry, Jonathan. There's not going to be competition because the world the world is not fair. <clears throat> That's okay. Oh wow! Right. Now you tell yeah. us how to read the cap. Yes. Yeah. So this... I call this I call this section like my working title for this uh, article was like a, anatomy of a bottle cap, but yes, it became more it, it became sort of more comprehensive than that. So so anyways, th this sort of section was named you know, kind of the, the bottle cap anatomy or something like that. So, yeah. so yeah, I just sort of went through and, and just kind of showed you how to read it. And so it's like super dense with information, right? So <laughs> Very the, dense. The, the, the ingredients <laughs> are listed. Um, the flavor of, of course is listed, um, you know, and uh, actually kind of listed in two ways, like a longer spelled out text um, and then kind of underneath the Fanta logo, like in larger text, basically a repeat of the same thing. I love that underneath it, it says no juice. Yes, right? no because juice. There was, there was a thing that like, <laughs> hey, there's there's no real juice in this. So yeah. um, and then the bottler name and address uh, address are on there. So um, and they're they're different, like the the. Coca-Cola is sort of inverted where the name and address are kind of at the top and the other information is at the bottom. So, um, but all the Fanta ones kind of follow this similar format. Yeah. And I, I, Sky, somehow I knew that golden grape would be what you would gravitate towards. So that was why I chose this as the example. <laughs> oh, thank you. Cause it's, it's just such an evocative image. Like, uh, yeah. It really got me so, about the golden grapes. <laughs> so so go golden grape is actually pretty interesting. So so I think of it as the white wine of grape soda, right? Yeah, um, right. So yeah. like um, there were concerns in Japan in the early 70s about unnatural things coloring their their food. Mm -hmm. um, and so there was a, this this they were making a transition, as I understand it, from from some kind of synthetic product to a natural product. It didn't really work and it was like i think it was kind of settling out of the soda or something it's it's hard to really get that information but there were some problems with it they weren't satisfied with it so they introduced this golden grape kind of in the meantime which was this amber colored um grape soda um and then in like 1977 and kind of continuing with this promotion in 78 it was the reintroduction of of uh of the regular grape classic um, grape yeah so, yeah wow that's so, that's great i mean that's that's a totally and that's that's right there in both of them and if star yeah. wars had come out two years earlier i guess it wouldn't have been that way yeah yeah it, it is it, so, yeah. so this is one of the flavors that's very difficult Th this one and, and club soda are very difficult to find and because just from this one from what i can tell most of the bottlers have transitioned to back to regular grape and um i think only one or two that i've found were making this stuff so 
isn't it funny how companies can just make stuff up and we just run with it like blue raspberry we're like oh yeah that's a thing you know, uh, yeah. like, like they just already had cherry and strawberry so they couldn't have it just be so like, that's like in my mind raspberry and blue raspberry are two different tastes but very different yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so so this helps us so then if if you were to find an okinawa golden grape that would be the grail upon grail the, the golden the golden grape goose <laughs> <laughs> sure but if we look back at that brochure i think it'll tell us that that golden grape they did not make golden grape uh, um sorry sky but this uh, is not for okinawa <laughs> this this uh leaflet was for okinawa so the golden oh, grape this was the, uh, yes the, the, yeah oh. ironically so the the sprite ones there the, the ones above it are the golden grape oh yeah, so. okay i see so so there's no red star so they didn't make it but they did make apple apple's one of the other kind of tough ones um okay. but yeah so okay so then all right so then now we can think about because because i'm starting my okinawa fanta focus here so then if we're to do that then we'd only have to track down 50 bottle caps of coca-cola 50 bottle caps of Fanta, Fanta 50 arms, bottle yeah. caps of Fanta grape, 50 bottle caps of Fanta apple. And it looks like 50. And Sprite. Uh, and yeah, Sprite. Club soda. Yeah, club soda. Yeah. Okay. It still, still sounds uh, pretty challenging, Scott. <laughs> and, and you've only found one. Period. <laughs> period. I, got, yeah. I got one, period. <laughs> But you haven't been looking that hard. So right. that's right. Not, that's right. Yeah. Not, not at all. No. But I'm hey, willing maybe. to spend like five dollars a piece. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Money talks. That's right. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Right, so here you go. Now we have an image of each bottle cap's top. Wow, they are so distinctly interesting to look at. I never really thought of that because it okay. So here's a an ethics question or a tactical question. How do you like unscrew up one of these bottle caps because all the bottle caps i have have been peeled off and they're yeah, all bent the and, and bend twisty and then, yeah like do you just fix them yourself or you just these are just good condition ones uh well the ones i folded are are you know generally good ones but like i don't have much to choose from from club soda so you can see it's kind of abraded there but um i don't I don't worry too much about it. If it's really bent, I'll just take a pair of pliers and, and bend it. I mean, you know, okay. it got pried so, off. I don't do anything to kind of, I suppose you could, you could put it on something flat and protect it and kind of bang it from where it's been bent. But I really only worry about it if it's sort of so distorted that I can't fit it where I want to fit it. Right. So otherwise I pretty much just kind of let, let it go. Okay. So then, so there are, Wait, this is one, two, this is eight. This is eight. So this things. is this is eight. So in the lower left corner, this is you see black grape mess. Yeah, great black and great purple. So, like I said, um, you know, Fanta grape was being reintroduced at this time. So um the kinky bottler and one other produced the Fanta that you see at the lower left, which has black text that says Fanta and the text on the upper half of the cap is in black. Mm -hmm. And then the lower half is sort of a, a negative image, but the text is silver really, um, you know, with a, in purple. Um, whereas the, the other ones, all the other bottlers, um, you know, it was sort of, it's all purple. Um, and for what I can, my, I'm surmised that that's sort of to emphasize maybe like, hey, this one's different. Like it's, you know, it would stand out. It looks yeah. different than the other ones to me mm -hmm. anyways. Okay, so I but... assume it was an emphasis thing. Wow. I, okay. So then you know about Okinawa, but you don't know. So like, so if, okay, I imagine this is what you're building towards, but just to go by the example of, let's say you're, I don't know, Chewbacca collector and you decide you want to get one of every single available one. It, you we would not be able to know that because we don't know what all 17 factories made. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. So we just have to make I, a guess. Yeah. I mean, I've there, that's what the other matrix in there, and you can kind of look at what I've, what I've put together there. And there's a lot of uh, years of buying and trading and whatever. So, um, but I'm sure there are tons of data points to be added to that thing because it's it's just really just my own 
collecting endeavors um, on that. But um, you start to get a sense when you look at that other one for, you know, everyone made Coca-Cola, of course. Not that many people made, hardly anyone made club soda or golden grape, not that many made apple, et cetera. You start to get a yeah. sense of, of the, the kind of rarity, if you will, of these. Yeah. But, population out there yeah. so you it just so, would have yeah. they would have catered to the taste of the local you know that's the nice thing about having these regional bottlers right they, they could cater to the taste of what's sold in their region so yeah. and and how easily do you recognize the 17 different uh bottling companies like do you look at these and you can just easily say oh this is that or do you have to kind of get out and have a guide yeah, I got to get out and get a guide. Like I know the one where you have the 7931, like you see an apple or great black. I know that's the kinky bottler. It's in the Coca-Cola too. Uh, actually, a lot of these are that one. Um, so, but yeah, I, I kind of have to gravitate towards the uh, the numerical characters that I recognize. And then I have to go to my guide to figure out, okay, what was 1378? You know, right. so <laughs> I, I have sort of, I call it shorthand in the matrix, but it's sort of like, that's that's how I know them. Like that's a, but, but some of them don't have any um, non, you know, kanji. So, um, you know, I just have to kind of look at the starting character and match it up. Okay, yeah. so so now we're on Atari and Hazuri. What the hell, Steve? How many more slides are there? Uh, I can't remember exactly, but I feel like this we're, is we're getting madness. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. So, so um, you know, you may know the Japanese sort of promotions. There's the sort of pairing of Atari and Hazuri. Um, you know, hit or win, and you know, Hazuri being lose. Uh, or loser or miss kind of thing. So the uh, the winter caps that we had all feature Atari at the top. Um, and then there was some, as I understand it, then this came from my friend Toru. Um, as I understand it, this, again, this kinky bottler, um, I guess they jumped the gun or something, but they produced caps that had the Hazare, um in pink above the image of the character and you can kind of see it in that zoomed in Chewbacca image there at the yeah. top um and then what they did that they it was determined that that was not you know what it was supposed to be done so they then printed this pink band around it to kind of print over it but if you look very carefully it's actually way more distinct in that photo than looking at it with the naked eye I've got to get my like phone flashlight out and look at it there's actually small text in there that's talking about the promotion, um, you know, flanking the the large Hazare text in the middle. Um, and then anyways, later on, they continued and they hadn't printed the loser text, but they printed the pink and then they put the Star Wars over top of it. So eventually they transitioned and got rid of the pink, but the pinks are the sort of the earliest production for that bottler. That's the only bottler that made them that way. And um, so, yeah, it's just kind of one of those quirky things. So yeah. Um, and they all so then only the ones where you win money are called winner atari and then every single figure just says loser above it <laughs> in that earliest production yes all the yeah. Uh, yeah like if you got an image you are a loser you know? so, and I guess they... <laughs> that's, that's, that, that is re that's i mean that's because it also looks like that's like the low like the like that's who this character is so can right. you imagine if you were a little japanese kid and you never seen the movie and you're like Oh, like every single character is named loser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm now just uh, my uh, daughter's walking the dog, so a little sound uh, behind here. That, that's what that was. The joys oh. of not editing. See, Steve, <laughs> if we were editing, I would have put in a whole bunch of Ace Ventura, La Who's a Her. Um, and then I and then I would have gone and tried to find the Japanese dubbing and see if it was Hazu Ure. Yeah, but we're we're past those days as great as that days. would be. Um, yes. We can all just imagine. Yeah. So then this is a a picture of a whole bunch of bottle caps. <laughs> yeah. So so I I referenced the other matrix. So this is basically like a graphical companion to the matrix. So this is every variation that I have found. So you can see there's a whole bunch of Coca Cola. Um, a fair amount of Fanta orange uh, and, and it starts to kind of dwindle from there. Um, yeah. You know, where, so. so this is every variation in terms of bottling companies and flavors. Yes. This is, uh, 
crazy. So, so where, where's the Okinawa one? <laughs> Jeez, you put me on the spot. Hold on. Um, it's probably a Coke, Coke, right? It's a Coke. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's got a six seven two in it, but yeah, I'd have to look around for it. But Jim, yeah, six seven two. All right, there, you hunters. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can find the six seven two. Wow. Okay. And, and what's the what's the uh, image on on the uh, Okinawa one? Hmm, good question. I don't remember. I don't <laughs> okay. think it's I don't think it's Chewbacca though. But I'm just whatever it is. We need to hype it up. So have you like <laughs> have you like talked to Duncan and Gus and are are they are they sharing all their research with you? Are you sharing or 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 is it too hard to compete with them that you don't? Like, no, what, yeah, no, I mean, I've, yeah, we've certainly collaborated on stuff. So, you know, um, I've been helping uh, both of them with sort of, you know, as I buy lots and, and get things. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to help them build build sets as well. So, um, yeah, because I'm trying to at least build all 50 in each flavor. Um, so, and so plus, I, the pink, plus the pink ones, blah, blah, blah. So, so at least 50... So, 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 ir irregardless of bottling companies, you want one of each character of each flavor. Yes, that's right. And yeah. so, how many? And, that, and that's a goal that so. And I finished, I think, four of those sets. Um, okay. So you know, um, but yeah, and I've been working on this since like two thousand eight. So it's just a long time, you know. Yeah. Some of them, like I say, like I don't. Probably in my lifetime, I'll never finish Golden Grape or Club Soda. I think I can probably finish Apple. That's the one that I still need the most of that okay. is incomplete. So, and then the yeah. pink, the pink ones again. It's just sort of yeah. You gotta just be happy with what you get. Yeah, I, I mean, this is just reminding you that all the variation talk is. I mean, how how do you even go about finding them? Like, what what is the the most common? route to to coming upon a, like a stash of these <laughs> yeah i've generally i've been buying for a while from from japanese auctions basically okay. yeah. um so you can you can get them on ebay but it's sort of like to get any kind of bulk uh on them so that's sort of generally been what i've been doing to get them so and then like i say, i can keep what i want sell you know if i can put together sets and sell them and then but also you know first you know, pull first pull for myself, then pull for my friends, and then kind of, you know, get pass on whatever's left. So yeah, that's sort of been my approach. All right. So now, now we have an, another advertisement. Yeah. yeah this so is, this, this is, is getting into my favorite stuff. Is is all of the all the surrounding material that that for the promotion. This is just yeah. Yeah. So this was um, uh, for the Tokyo bottler um, and. Um, I, you know, I mentioned it in the article, and Steve, you would find it interesting. I, I when I bought mine, it was paired with a Japanese movie program, mm -hmm. um, and I've seen it sold several times in that pairing. So yeah. I don't know that it was an insert into the program. It might have been, or it might have just been something that that was available at theaters, and someone tucked it into the thing, and they sold that program all those years later. Yeah. But I've seen I've seen it sold paired that way enough times to make me think that it was available at theaters. Yeah. Uh, if not, if not, you know, inserted. So, but basically, this one is is uh, a coupon for a free, um, you know, Fanta grape. Try the new, try this new Fanta grape that's been reintroduced uh, into the market. And and so this is a R two D two AM radio. What is this? Oh device? yeah, we're, we're we're gonna get into that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. But that that's that's kind of like the mega prize from this thing. Like if yeah. if you are the super winner. That that so. okay. This this is one of my favorite pairings here. So this is for the the red T shirt with the Coca Cola star in the middle. Um, and this is this is one of the ones where the silhouette for the prize is on the bottle cap. So this is the actual shirt that you would have gotten then. That's wow. right. And it and it's a McGregor shirt. Um, and the the transfer was made by factors of Bear Delaware. So I don't know if these were made I don't know if the shirts were made in the US or just the transfer. Uh -huh. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure about and that. And there's there's um, no Japanese at all on this. No, it's just drink Coca-Cola Star Wars. The, the tag itself, um under the McGregor tag, there's a there's a tag um, that it's a Coca Cola tag. Even yeah. that looks like it may just be. No, there's some uh, Japanese. I think, I think there's some Japanese on that. But oh yeah. yeah. So, 
Great now, shirt. <laughs> how how hard are these to find? Yeah. They're fairly tough and there's there's two different um there's two different tag versions. I had another one. Um I had the other tag and I actually bought it because it was an upgrade. And then I I don't know, I kind just kind of like this one, the the patina on it or whatever. So yeah. um I ended up selling the other one to Duncan. Like they're expensive enough that I was like, I don't really need both of these. Maybe at some yeah. point I'll get both. But uh I I tag variations of t-shirts. I I, did, <laughs> I at least temporarily drew the line there. Yeah. <laughs> and and is it just my perception or is it warping? This is not a symmetrical star. Um yeah, it may be stretched somewhat. Um, okay. Yeah. I, th I think I think it's probably just the way the t-shirt was laying. I don't, I don't think it's actually warped. Yeah. No, 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 no. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look. If you go to the star that's in the Star Wars and this text up here, it's got the same <laughs> warping. It's right. So normally a five pointed star, each of the points is the same. If you look at the top, it's much wider than That's say true. the bottom I see what right you're saying. and then I see it's what you're the saying. same here like yeah, like yeah. you squint and you look away it's yeah. a it's a particular outline i just figured yeah. something out steve <laughs> i'm contributing to the discourse that yeah. this i i think that this is actually a non-symmetrical star and and on top of that, this is definitely something that Jasper Nixon would have picked up on his vacation to Tokyo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, I'm, I have people made like re redos of this or has anyone tried to? Um, the Seattle crew, Sarlacc, when they, um, uh, one of the celebrations, they did bottle cap giveaway and they did uh, t-shirts in this style okay. for their, their giveaway. But no, yeah. not like a direct reproduction, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Okay. And then next to that, we have this image of. Yeah, it's a sticker sheet. Um, you know, six, well, five characters. Um, and then you know your favorite, the escape pod. <laughs> the so escape pod. There, there it is again. Yeah. So yeah. So you could either they're kind of cut to where you could either take them as a, a rectangular image, or they're they're actually die cuts to where you could deal them out. Then so I guess maybe you could kind of tear this thing apart and then mm -hmm. share the stickers with your friends or whatever. But now how would this how would you have received this? I that I don't know. Um okay. so I the one I got again came from um uh, a lot of stuff that came from the kinky bottler. So I suspect okay. it came from that same bottler. Some kind of yeah. um but but yeah I don't know. I, I would guess just, it was yeah. an in store like hey buy you know so much of this and you get this you get a sheet of stickers I, yeah but I, I i don't have any advertising on it so okay. i'd love to know yeah it's beautiful <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's really cool I, I also like this Luke image because I always think he looks like a hobbit. Like I, I don't like mixing up Lord of the Rings, but I always think he's like I'm that, off that to is, the Shire. Yeah, that that is a bit of a yeah a Frodo look there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. Um, oh boy, okay. Uh, <laughs> now we have the the case, the holder. This is like the I, the, I call it a I call it a tray, right? So a this tray. is a, okay. a vacuum vacuum form plastic thin plastic it's pretty brittle this one looks pretty nice it's all shiny and and whatever um but these things tend to be pretty trashed mm -hmm. um they, they they they're not too bad on yellowing but they will yellow some but um and this one isn't perfect but most of them have some imperfections cracking especially yeah. around the edges and that sort of thing um but yeah you press the caps into there and you know it there are labeled and the vacuum forming process you can see some of the text kind of gets lost but mm -hmm. um each bottle cap has a specific position where it goes yeah except for certain characters like i think there's three different han solo ones that all have the same label descriptor okay. so you can place that so if you compare this image say to Steve Sansweet's, you know, a thousand collectibles, you'll notice that some of the things are, most things are in the same place, but some are Mr. Moved around. And so okay. it's things like that where they, they have multiple right locations to place them. And so. where did this, how did you get this? I mean, not uh, how did you get this? How did a, a kid in Japan in 1978 get this? As, as far as I know, this was, you know, uh, an in-store kind of premium again for buying a certain okay. quantity of it, but I don't yeah. have any paperwork or anything. That's, but that's, that's my understanding of how yeah. it was distributed. And I, I, love and the, I the, think maybe yeah. it was only at, at certain bottlers. Sorry, Steve. Oh, it's okay. Um, 
I was just gonna say I love that the the top kind of blue strip at the top of it with the uh, the line art has the Star Wars pin or the a bottle cap in the Death Star. Yeah, That's, yeah. that is great. Yeah. Now, okay, so what's your favorite? <laughs> like, like, what's your favorite image, John? Like, like, which, like, if there's one that you could have every, you know, all seventeen, full all run. fifty, yeah. all full run, like, like, what, what, what is the one for you? Mm, good question. Um, all right, keep zooming. <laughs> we can remind him a little bit. There, yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing like that comes to mind. I kind of like the one of the droids in the corridor. Mm -hmm. Um, it's up to up, upper right hand corner. Yeah, kind of on the block. Oh yeah, one. there you go. Um, oh yeah, it's a classic. I, I talk in the art. I talk in the. I mentioned in the article that some of them are harder to find than the others, and that mm -hmm. that is the the logo is one of them, and and the the droids there. But anyways, that's I, interesting. I, I kind of like yeah. that image. What I mean, what I yeah what it's missing is like you know like all the early stuff. There's no cantina stuff, man. Wouldn't it be yeah. great if there were right. cantina bottle caps? Mm -hmm. So, how about you, Steve? What's your favorite? Uh, I mean, I, I like the weird ones. Um, oddly, I think if I was going to, it might seem kind of boring, but there's that shot of the TIE fighter about to be blown up with the two laser blasts there. Um, I'm, you pay, I'm no, no, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> yes, that's a very interesting one. That's it, because true. it's tied to a specific memory. That That's okay. Yeah. Well, what's the memory, um, Steve? So back when I was still at the Academy, I was going through, it was one of the effects artist had just donated a bunch of his film trims and he'd worked on that shot so it was oh. like piecing it together to see how he did the animation he was an animator um wow. and it just always blew my mind uh just seeing how it was pieced together so when i saw it I'm like oh yeah i worked on something similar but no there's there's other ones that are much more aesthetically pleasing i'd say I, on that sense i kind of like that one there with uh Obi-Wan and C-3PO when they're overlooking the bluff. Like I like the two shots with the two characters in them. Yeah. Yeah. So are each of these labeled with different bottling companies or are all the trays the same? All the trays are the same from what I can tell. And but again, I think this was had regional dis distribution. Right. I, I'd love to find paperwork or something on it, but um so far I haven't I haven't seen anything. And but and do no. these ever come up for sale just complete like this? Yeah, 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 they do. Because I mean, yeah. I imagine that must be how they were how they were filled out, and you can't see what kind of soda is on the back, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Um, yeah. And you can see this this one kind of have is, has a mix of gold and, and silver yeah. ones in it. Yeah. So you start to. Oh right, Steve. It's not fifty of each. It's a hundred of each <laughs> of seventeen. <laughs> so do all the math. Seven different flavors, seventeen different bottles. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> it starts to get pretty, pretty yeah. wild. Oh, here we go. Okay, you're oh, asking this is about the clock the... that they mentioned. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, so so this is the big prize, right? So um, this was the the AM radio. So you got this um, um, either by a, a lot. Of talked about earlier in this conversation you tape five of them um to this paper you folded it up a certain way and you mail it in for a chance to win this thing okay. and the different bottlers had different I, I go over that somewhat in the article but the different bottlers I, I i have listed in the matrix what i know but like so I remember that the tokyo bottler had ten thousand of these things and right, they right. broken down into eight weekly lotteries so yeah 1250 a week or something and, and you you dropped that a little bit so you sent in five McElwain's and you'd get one entry <laughs> into the lottery yeah yeah uh, you get an entry into the lottery right and a weekly weekly lotteries for eight weeks and yeah so um and so tokyo <laughs> had ten thousand of these things that they gave away so the the quantity varied by bottler i and wonder are they, the, are they labeled by bottle or just they're just the, the box isn't, um, but the paperwork, the different bottlers had a different insert in it. Mine does, doesn't have any. Oh. It has some in different appearing, um, you know, winner notifications, if you will. Yeah. I, and who, I just, who, who made this? The car? Uh, this, this was uh, Fuji made this, I believe. So, wow. Yeah, Fuji, Fuji Electric. Yeah. 
This thing's just awesome. And I, I just think like thinking about the logistics of running a weekly sweepstakes in the pre like digital age, that was something yeah. I was thinking about and just how crazy that must have been. Um, yeah. That's great. Yeah. And, and is and, this and that, is this not reproduced? And like, is this the only place where the eight, this AM radio exists? Is it only for this one market, this one thing? Yes. Yes. Wow. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Oh, and this yeah. is this there is you how go. you actually had to send it in. You had to send <laughs> yes. in the McElwains. <laughs> yes, yeah, send in the McElwain. So, so this one, I think, yeah, that's so that one's the Tokyo bottler, ten thousand of them. Um, mm -hmm. There, you can see their three, um, you know, denominations of of the yen winners and the kind of peel out thing. But yeah, you flip it over, and the back side is this thing where you you tape the liners to it. I love the graphic depiction of the tape. Um, yeah. <laughs> and if you translate the text, it actually says, "Please, for the love of God, don't send the the actual." crown you know they call them crowns right or bottle caps don't don't send them the metal thing. oh which i'm sure they so, did <laughs> yeah some i'm sure some people did yeah well it's so i i spent a summer uh in japan right when we started the, the podcast actually and uh like the way that like they are with recycling is so intense like you have to, you know, we, I tried to become what was called the go, uh, Gomi Sensei, like a master of trash. Like everything, if you actually look on most plastic bottles, there'll be little indicators because the way they do recycling is so precise and so clear. And so I love this because it's very much like this is going to make sense. And I can just imagine at the at the bottle thing, just having all these really well organized and divided things because, you know, that that level of detail. Yeah. Yeah, it's wow. impressive. Wow. Yeah, okay, so this Steve. is back all, all the way at the beginning. We had the kind of that gatefold image of the the um, you know the the cap. So this is now the front cover and back cover of, of that same thing, like from the kinky bottler the brochure front cover oh, and back. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and this is like what it's most famous for with with uh, Luke with his blown out hair. Blown out hair. Yeah. 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 Yes. And is this? I mean, in the history of our hobby. Is this like a Ron thing? How did this get so famous? The the blown out hair? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Was maybe something Gus wrote or a presentation that, Gus did? I feel I, like this image is very famous for one particular like thing, but I, I don't know if I remember what it is. I'm sure someone can tell us. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like I the the earliest thing that I saw, you know, was an article Pete Vilmer wrote like that, back in that, 2008. He that called sounds it right. the, the blow dried. Okay, hair, that's but, it. But, there, there's know, so. like I don't know the answer. It's Pete Vilmer. <laughs> okay, well we do have an answer. <laughs> was a uh, Jonathan? I think there's a there's a big poster version of this as well, right? There is. Okay, right? And I think yeah. maybe I'm thinking that I saw it first in Pete and Steve Sansweet's poster book. I think that might have been the first. That's maybe the first time I saw it. Um, yeah. 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 It's it oh, so great. Yeah, I love this. And they they only advertise these four flavors. So is this one particular bottler, or is this the the general thing? And they want to emphasize those flavors. So this is one particular bottler. This again is the kinky oh bottler. Oh my god! Um, so, so. <laughs> but on the right hand side, what you see um, is again this was the one of the bottlers that had the T-shirt and the free bottle, um, and they had the 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 radio. So they had twenty nine hundred versus Tokyo had. Oh. Yeah. And look at the if you look at the number under the t-shirt, they gave away two million one hundred fifty-five thousand one hundred <laughs> bottles of Coca-Cola. Oh my um, gosh. Which is an insane number. Um <laughs> you know. I just wow. like they were totally all in on this promotion. And so, and five thousand t-shirts. So mm -hmm. yeah. And then the, the information below, um um I, I've heard it attributed that this happened later in the promotion. The promotion was so short, it's kind of hard to so accept eight, that. But eight, but but anyways, eight weeks. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. It was like eight weeks. Um. So, but what you see below is if you didn't want to try for the if you if you didn't win a T-shirt by pulling the cap, you could send in one liner and a thousand yen, and they would send mm. you a T-shirt. Okay. And the R two D two radio. You could send in the five liners that you would have had to send in for the lucky draw and 4,500 yen, not mm -hmm. an insignificant amount, but mm -hmm. you could buy the, buy the, the radio. Well, um, wait, Steve, what, what, what's a liner? 
<laughs> the, the, the McElwain's? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. You can send in the five McElwain's. Is that why you started collecting your five, these, Jonathan? Your five Max. Your five Is that Max. why you started yeah. collecting them? Because they had the name McElwain? Like it yeah, just was like, a, yeah. How could I not collect them? Yeah, exactly. They're Max for short, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and then is... this is the poster this is so my he, favorite yeah 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 so there's two posters here the one on the left is again the the very similar image to what you saw on the kiki flyer it's the luke with the blow-dried hair and this big star wars logo and the flanked by the droids and and all of that um and if you look in the lower if you go back to that poster so lower right again they're giving they're giving away 2900 am radios um, and then on the left, they're showing you that they're giving away T-shirts and free bottles. So yeah. these posters, I, there's a link in the article to Gus's poster that's on the the uh, on the archive. And so it's worth clicking on that because what you'll see is that most of the poster image is the same. And even the lower right, you know, it's still the radio, but it's a different quantity because his poster is from a different bottler. Yeah. But at the lower left, it'll be the yen winners that were available from that particular bottle won't sew the t-shirt uh, and mm -hmm. so so anyways more variations <laughs> yeah so there's yeah. a there's at least five you know so pete's article referenced there being kind of five versions of this poster um and for all i know that that's correct but it could be as many as 17 right there could be one for each bottle or just imagine a whole wall of just this poster would be and, and then trying to explain to people okay yes. so you see they had the thing <laughs> yeah and then um, the other the other poster i don't think i've ever paid attention I, to no th this this one on the right the, with the the kind of space battle kind of composite i had never seen this before and it is just gorgeous i mean it, it has a lot of the elements that are found in other promotional imageries but i've never seen them assembled this way before and the the star background on this seems pretty unique as well i i, I don't know if that's right jonathan but and to the me, explosion it, and the yeah the, you know what else the stars in the background are more like realistic. Like right. That's yeah. That's kind different of different size at. stars. You don't usually yeah. see that. Yeah. So this is a much bigger poster. So the 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 one on the the left was like roughly twenty four by thirty six. This is sort of even large. This one with the star field is even larger than a one sheet. A US oh wow. One sheet. Like it's okay. a very large poster. So my understanding is that the blow dry Luke one would have been kind of at your places where you purchased this. And I've seen this other one with the star field listed as being used at like um, arcades and places like that, where they might yeah. have, have had a big, big like okay. display. Yeah. It's really light on advertising. Right. And it's like, Very you simple. know, there's a Very tiny Coca-Cola logo yeah. in the upper right. And then the drink, drink Coca-Cola star Wars in the lower left. But yeah. Yeah. I first saw this poster at Duncan's house quite a while oh, ago okay. and, um, you know, was finally able to, to add one. So uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. That's great. You, you know that, that, I mean, cause it is really not harmonious. No, like, it's all the, over the place. The scales yeah. are off. It seems like some of the, the, X-Wings are just drunk and going in the wrong direction. <laughs> Some of them look like they're in the movie. The Darth Vader's TIE fighter just looks like a picture of a toy. <laughs> like it doesn't... Yeah. I mean, I, I got to say, Steve, if I had to choose between the two, I, I'd take the, I'd take the space battle. I, yeah. Same, same. I, they're both great, but no, the, there's something, there's something just out there about the space battle one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm glad you have one, John. And that's, that's awesome. Oh my God. Yeah, Steve. Thanks. That's we that. did it. Wow. Yeah, I, I had I, to end it on that. I, I told yeah. my wife, like, oh, it'll be probably like half an hour. I don't think it's too much to say. <laughs> and I'm like yeah. cutting myself off. Well, <laughs> see, I, I, I always have to give you a little bit more time when we start bringing in maps and uh, yes. you know, <laughs> I, I just, World, yeah, glo global history. Yeah, global history. Yeah. I, I knew we'd have to build in a little bit of cushion. For that. Yeah, but there's there's yeah. a lot more, I'm sure. Yeah, on, so now much I more. can go read the article. Um, yeah, I won't be such a hazura. <laughs> no, I'll, uh, I'll be a real Atari. See, whenever we get back to winners and losers, I think we just need to switch to Atari and Azure. We just yes. you know, make make the switch. Okay, then then the final super annoying focus collector question. Then, so if I'm just doing the math in my head, right? Presuming it that Chewbacca is as normal as anything else, then if I don't care about different bottling companies, I would have probably what like seven like 
like just to have different. So are there are there seventeen Hazura Chewbacca? I mean, are there no. seven different Hazura Chewbacca bottle caps? No, there's it's only from one bottle. Well, it's only from one bottler and okay. only two flavors. Um, so um Coke and and this Fanta grape. And I'd have to look back. I think I think only the one of them came um with the winner and loser and one didn't. Um one was only the winner. So I, I think there's actually only one of these that you would need to get if you okay. wanted the the loser version. But so then I'd be looking for seven different flavors, like like the most like realistic but difficult would be seven different flavors. Maybe the 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 black Fanta grape right, and the right. purple grape yeah. and what? So that's like seven. That's eight with Hazuri. That's nine. That's like nine basic ones you'd want to try to track down. You think? Yeah. So I, I'm kind of tracking eleven, right? So there's the seven flavors plus the the grape variant makes mm -hmm. eight, mm -hmm. and then the three for me the three different pinks like the two different pinks that are Fanta grape and the one uh, Coca-Cola that's pink. So those are the 11 that I am pursuing. Okay. So, but, but that, but that would be probably not very possible in a lifetime because like club soda would be super difficult and there's like five people yeah. looking for it and I'm not looking for it. So that's like that, that kind of thing. If I, if I was like, if I put you on on the on the hunt and said every time you see one, let me know, and you first offered them to the ten other people who you said you'd do that to, like realistically, someone who's into this could end up with like five interesting yeah. variations. Probably, uh, yeah, five or six. Yeah, yeah, probably six. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Uh, I'll just it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm. I mean, now now that I know, I'll. Well, I mean, all my collections in a box because I just keep having kids. So. <laughs> It's but bottle caps seems that's, like a pretty that's good a little collectible little, for me. That's, that's manageable. Small. They're, yeah. They're small. Yeah. They're small. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Wow. wow. Well, I'm gonna hit stop share then so we can see wow. all of our beautiful faces up close. Well, once again, Jonathan, you've you've saved us in a month where we needed an episode and there <laughs> it was right there. So thanks for that. And um yeah, just awesome stuff as always. Sure. Yeah, it's glad glad to have you guys back and glad to hopefully uh people get something out of this that's oh, awesome uh, steve do we want to just like end this like unceremoniously or should we kick <laughs> him out and then i'll send it what do you think that, that sounds unceremonious all uh, uh, right there <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. good in that case we'll ceremoniously all wrap oh because this is the blog log pod see we don't even do an official goodbye so what i'll do i'll figure out how to hit stop recording on this 